hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good my people oh, you see this life eh you see for this life hmm. this is where they happen for this life eh? i don't know kabi ac don't even understand how things are happening in the palace where he is ruling you don't you don't understand the kind of women he brought into the palace have you been that kabi ac understands the kind of women he married. He will know how to be following them and know who is who. But the thing is just, I don't know how the thing is doing him in his ears. We don't really understand that at all at all. Especially if we are in the blue blue. We don't understand. Kabiesi, I don't know Kabiesi. Maybe Kabiesi used to trust people so easily. That is his problem. But I think he's not good. Because uh, over trust, they spoil things for people. Anyway, guys, according to what we heard, though, we heard that Kunomi is planning on how to fix, get together, get together with the Olovis. You know, Kunomi is a peaceful woman being. She doesn't want problem. She wants everybody to live peacefully. But I don't know whether she will accept. Is it that she have accepted to be cooperating with these people? I don't know. Anyway, so according to what we heard, we heard that she had been planning get together with the Olorids. And uh, yeah, the Odua Forest Deity Custodians heard about it. You know, they used to see the thing that is happening. It's the one that they don't want to talk about. They will just keep quite silent. But the one they want to talk about, they will say it. They will talk about it. So guys, according to what we heard though, allegedly, allegedly, we heard that this woman, this uh, custodian, told Kabiesi that Kabiesi should be careful. In short, not just be careful, that Kabiesi should avoid any form of get-together with the Olorish. That he should have tell Kuno, in short, he should stop that get-together. You know that it is Kuno that is planning for it. But KBS will be aware of it before Kunomi will do it. That Kunomi should not try it. Kunomi should not try it. That if she tries it, in the way she see, we should not blame anybody because the Oloris have planned against her full time. And guys, don't forget that uh, Yamifa said that why uh, Kunomi did not come for that to be lovers welcome party. Is an advantage for Kunomi that the God Kunomi is serving is a faithful God. That the God did not want her to be infect, infected and be inflicted with the disease that they want her to be inflicted with. And that is why God did not allow her to come to that uh, welcome party. That the Lord is have gotten that thing they got then they say if they rub it from Kunomi's body, it will affect Kunomi. That is what they came with. They are, they are looking for every opportunity to meet with Konomi and touch Konomi. That, that, in, that day, what they plan was that if Konomi is coming, they will rush. They will just rush and go and hug her. That if they hug her immediately, they will rub the thing on her body. And she will be infected, infected, will be inflicted with that disease. But God did not allow that to happen. Konomi did not come. So, <laughs> with all of these things, they have failed. And now, Konomi is planning on doing get together with them. That with this get together, you eat together now, you drink together, uh, you, you dance together. That Konomi should avoid it. Kabiyosi's father have told Konomi that she needs to avoid everything, every communication with the Oloris, every come together party, every this together, this that together. No. We should avoid them that the Oloris dislike her with passion. They hate her with everything in them. If they see by, they will buy Kunomi. Hey, but Kunomi is not understanding some of this. Sometimes Kunomi will feel like as if she understands. Sometimes she will feel loose. Hmm. Anyway, that is life for you. That is life. So the Odua custodian, Odua deity custodian, one Kabiesi. That if anything should happen to Naomi, if anything should happen to Naomi, that he is going to be the one that will bear the consequences. Of course, he's going to be the one to bear it. 
Of course, we know that all of us, we are not going to be happy, but KBS will bear it more. Because Kwinomi being in KBS's life right now is like security. <laughs> you will not understand. I know that some people will be against this thing I'm saying. Kwinomi in KBS's life now is like, you know, when you have your army by the side, you will do things with, with the authority, with your alacrity. But when you stay in a place where you are a stranger, don't know which one you will do. Some people will be like, they will beat you. You will, be, you will use one leg and stand. You know, KBS is standing with, with the two legs because Kunemi is in his life. Number one, the time they wanted, they wanted to dethrone KBS, it was Kunemi that entered into prayers. And the God uses Kunemi to set KBS, save KBS's throne. Before you know it, God blesses KBS with a male child. That is Tade Mikawa. And that one secured. All this while they have been sending arrows. I don't know whether you remember the time they said that they sent arrow, 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 arrow. It has been Kunomi's prayer all this while they have been protecting KBC. Forget this thing they talk, say, deity, deity, or deity. No, deity no get power. Yes. Now God, if God is with you, no one can be against you. If God says yes, no one can say no. The same thing if God says no. No one can say yes. The Akunomi is still existing in that palace because of she's having a, a living God. If not, all this yeye, yeye, yeye oloris. No know why I call them yeye oloris. That, that uses Kayamata as uh, what in the column, put pairs. Before you know it, this person don't rush to her babalawu. The other person can rush to her babalawu, collect different kinds of jazz. This time around, if the thing don't stop, that they see this one in KBC's room because they are no longer staying in the palace. Had even they are staying in the palace, if, if you don't hear, say, they saw one black one, one red one, one uh, white one, white and red one, under KBC's bed, on, uh, beside KBC's room, this place, the other place. All of this is because they are no longer at the palace. They have left the palace. But even at that, they still don't want to leave Kwenomi alone. They want KBC all them all to themselves. A man, a, 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 as I am now, I will see that this man have married the first one, married the second one, my third one. I will see go. I don't love that man. What I want is his money, and what these people want is KBC's fame, KBC's money, KBC's, uh, you know, to be known, so that people as we are as we are discussing them now, that is what they want, because they don't love KBC. If they love KBC. And this, see, see, uh, like the bad moves. After marrying, uh, Olo the Mariam, like the bad moves said that he cannot come here and be doing this kind of nonsense with you people. Know? Because like the bad moves love Kabi, see, but he doesn't want to be associated with this all of this. And that is what Kunomi is fighting for. But Kabi is not understanding it. Anyway, guys, don't forget that all of these are alleged information. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, thank you and God bless you. I love you guys. Bye.